Hello, this is Resolent Bearcat, and welcome to our Apollo Let's Play series of Dyson Sphere Program. We're about to finish the Dyson Sphere stress system. The last level of this, uh, we've got about 100,000 hashes left, and we're going to finish this. Uh, in fact, we just finished it as we were standing here. So that literally completes the science on uh, that I can do right now. And so um, with that, I kind of need to redo my science. I, I need to redo a lot of stuff on this planet. And um, we're in the process of making a Dyson sphere. Uh, but we also need to, I mean, we got a lot of things here that we also need to just kind of clean up and do differently um, and see what we can do here. We've got some science being produced here, but if we come into our science and we look at this, we have researched everything that we can research without the white sites. So we've got the mission completed is the only thing here that we haven't done. And here, if we go through the components that requires white sites, that requires white science. White, white, white. The ray transmission. Oh, no, I take that back. We've got some things we can do that still require other things, but that will require white. So we do have one more thing we can do. Logistic stations is white. Carrier stations is white. Veins utilization is white. And then the research speed is white. So with that we do have one last technology that we can do and then it's going to be time to move our science um, while we're at this this is going to be a um, what i need to do right now is come over here and pick up some things from my uh, mall and that's what we're going to kind of take a look at we're we're picking up some things automated items but there are some things that are not automated on the pickup that we need i just need to check how many things that we have on some of this stuff we have a few items here, just kind of junk items that are in this inventory as well. Uh, let's make sure we get a, a stack of those. Um, we've got the storage containers. We've got sites. We've got these storage containers. Okay, so now then, we need a whole bunch of these. Let's get an entire row of those and we'll pull those over here. Let's see. 450, 500. All right, so that's 500 of those. I think. I'm going to do that again. That's going to be a. I'm going to grab an entire thousand of those. Let's go back down the line here and find the solar panels here. Now, a lot of these would have refilled automatically. So, I, and I haven't used all those, so I'm going, to, I'm going to keep those in here. We've got a whole bunch of these things that have shown up. Space warpers, we've got deuterium fuel rods. Let's see how we're doing on fuel rods. Uh, we're going to need some more of those, so it'll deliver some more of those now. Uh, oh, we've got the space warpers. Uh, we've used up some of those. There we go. We still have a lot of those left. So what we're going to do, kind of taking in the, the idea here with this planet, we do have one more thing that we need to build here. So we've got some uh, uh, options here. We've got the geothermal stations. We've got these items. And I need some more of these because we've got some of these that are missing on our current planet. So I'm going to grab all 60 of those. Put those in my inventory. The stackers. I don't know if I'm using a whole lot of stackers. I've still got a whole bunch of those, so I'm pretty good on those. The ray guns. Let's see. I do have... Got 70 of those. We'll grab those as well. All right. With that... We have filled up on other components here. That's 500 of those things we got. We're still carrying these things around and I have to admit that they are not very, I'm not using these anymore. And so I may come back over in here with this. I think I'm going to clear that out mainly because we're not using these things anymore and I just don't see that I'm going to use them anymore 
So we'll put those in there. And then what I will instead do is I will put these in here. And then let's configure this down here at most. At most 60, at least 30. Okay, so that should grab some more of those if they're available. Now what I need to do is I need to put the... I need to find where those things are being built at. I'm going to assume that they're being built down here somewhere. Let's see, those are being built, but not too many of them are there. All right, that's, uh, come on, go through there. Wow, getting stuck all over the place. All right, there we go, We're going through here. Now we have the gun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, I haven't used one of these in a long time. I'm gonna put those in there. We are going to throw some of these little spinners in there, like that. And what we're going to do, yeah, we'll use this to provide and collect for me. I don't need to send them anywhere else. I just need to provide the numbers that I need of them. And let's see if that, and there's still some more of these in my inventory. I'm also not carrying these lower level assembly machines anymore. Doing the higher level assembly machines, upgrading things. So I've got all kind of storage containers. And with that in place, let's see, there's 3,000 of those, 1,600 of those, should be 3,000 of those, 500 of those things, 400 of those, so I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit here on some of the things all right and i grabbed a whole bunch more of those to put in here that goes in there we have some extra of those that brought it up to 1500 and that to 500 there we go and with that in place then that is kind of the and these are orbital collectors that i have so with this in place now, this is doing, let's see, I'm going to do at most 90, at least 60. That should, should see some of those things show up. Amount range. Alright, so it should be at least 60, at most 90. But for some reason, I am not getting any of those things. And then the other one that I want to do is I want to put this in here. And I want to put some of these in here as well, because I, I do want to figure would you not and then at most in thousand yeah there we go yeah and there we go I got some of those now so that brought it up to 60 and the way oops it's 10,000 do not collect do not collect at least 90 Okay, so that will be, there we go. It gives me some additional items in my inventory here for these. Now, I've been, I've been using some of these things, but I don't use that many of them. So I don't have to do too many of those uh, water collectors or something that I should have a stack of water collectors on me. I'm not seeing the stack of water collectors, and then let's get rid of that. 
Throw that one away. We'll throw that away as well. Graphene is just about free. I may do something with these other items here, but we'll just at least get those out of the way. Okay, with that in mind, let's see. We've got some additional things that we need to produce here. This is... There we go. Put that in there. Get rid of some more of my inventory. Graphene here, which I was, I just got rid of. All right. With that in mind, we are making progress here. All of this is still coming through here. So one of the things that's going on on my home planet, and this is one of the uh, kind of something to be know, you know, we have to pay attention to, is that resources are starting to disappear. We can come in here, we can see that, you know, I've just got a few nodes here left. You know, I've got a few nodes there, the coal nodes. I just, I have a few of them. So we are starting to deplete the resources on the home planet. Um, if we come in here and we look at this, there is nothing left in this. Um, we can kind of take that out of here this is well i do have a whole lot of crude oil in here and we will continue to allow that to be there we don't want to get rid of that so we've got that in place um but th that is one thing that is actually happening we are depleting resources on this planet and that is affecting what we can do some of the things that we can build and put together now over here one of the things we want this with our mall here we do still have something that we want to do we have a building that we are not producing and we're going to need very soon we're going to need a vertical launching site now vertical launching site requires four items here and we're going to see where we have some of this stuff the titanium alloy or some of the other things and then we'll we'll build some additional things so we've got We got these crystals here we'll drop those off we've got those things so let's go back to our building back to the vertical launching silo which we're going to need we need these items and these items. so we got two of the items we need right here we are going to need titanium alloy which i think we've got right here we do so we just need let's look at this again um We just need graviton lenses. I don't have graviton lenses here, but I can certainly bring a few in. What I will do, I don't need that many of them here. So I'll bring in, let's just bring in 200. We will do local demand. There we go. That's bringing those in for me. And then what I want to do is we're just going to take a production machine here, right here. Tell me I do not have enough. I have plenty. There we go. And what we'll do then is we need to produce this. We'll just put it right here. All right, so it's going to take four items. So. We will bring the items over here, and this is going to be my this. Yeah, and let's do the, Let's see. Like that. All right, now what we'll do is take that out of there. Uh, production will bring us back over here. We want to bring this in right here okay now now that we've got the graphene here coming in we've got four items that there are three items that need to come out of here and come across so what we'll do is we will and how many of these does it actually take we need to build and we need small grain carriers as well we're not producing those yet we need we don't need a large volume of them but we're going to need well we don't need them here though 
So that, that's a good point. We don't need those here. We just want to build these items here. So this is going to require once every 30 seconds. So we can take 30 seconds. It's one every three seconds, two every three seconds, one per second, or three every three seconds, and then that's eight for three seconds. So that's the one that's going to need the most is that particular item. And so let's do this right here. We're going to, I'm going to move this yet again. And we're going to get rid of that. Let's see. The, that was the item that was going to be needed. The second most, is that right? I think so. Put that there. Let's put our production facility. Right there. We'll choose the vertical landing silo. And yes, that was the item that was going to be needed the second most. So the graviton lenses and the other will go on there. And go. Now this is going to require. Let's bring that out on this belt. Okay, that's going to be here. Like that. Okay. And we're going to need some of these. Probably need a few of those and may even need a few of these as well. Okay, there we go. So what we will do is we will take the Well, I'm gonna put that in there that right there What we're then going to do is bring this over through here We'll bring those in I'm sure that was the correct order. It was the graviton lenses and then the other that was one every three seconds. That was two every three seconds. That'll be okay. I'll just use this. I think I'll be fine with that. Two every three seconds. It's a second and a half per trip. It should be that's one every second. Okay, yeah, should be good there. And let's see here. That should be that one. That one as well. And that will be one per second. Yeah, okay. We'll cut all that off like that. Now then, what we're going to do is... We are going to put a storage box down, and of course I have no storage boxes. A little bit of some storage boxes. Right here. And it's certainly not going to require very many of those. And then this. I think three stacks of that will be fine. And then let's put, oops. Of course all of them. Okay storage device of my power poles are in here put that in there like that and we should have this thing running let's see once it fills up what we get well, we got plenty of the blue items we're gonna see if I need to upgrade any of these before we go any further it's gonna take 80 of the titanium all right, the rest of them are full. All right, there we go. Now we're going to see if it refills before it gets done or not. We're halfway. Yeah, it's going to refill everything it needs. So we've got plenty of, the, of speed on this. This will be our first 
item that we are producing here on the vertical launching silos. There we go. We have a vertical launching silo. It didn't wait at all, so we, we will be producing that's three stacks of those. Let's produce four stacks of those. I don't know how many we're going to need, actually, now that I think about it. Let's just do three stacks. We'll find out how many we need. That'll be good. All right. With that in place, then, we have the production going on there. Um, these drones here, we are getting enough of them produced to fill back up. Okay. With that in place, then, it does take a long time to produce those things. We've got everything flowing here on this planet. Uh, we've got solar panels and solar receivers that we need elsewhere. And we're going to go back over there and do some of that. We've also got, we have three quarters of the way done with the ray transmission. So I, one of the things we will do, and we may hang around on the home planet until we get this done. We're, we're nearly, we're 75% of that. Um, so let's take a look at other things that may be, you know, finishing up might, might need some things done to them. Um, I do have antimatter being produced. Let's look at what else we might be needing. Um, I do not have any quantum, I may have the quantum chemical plants being produced now that I think about it. So when I redo some of that, I can use the quantum uh, plants. I don't have plain smelters. And, and this comes back down to is it requires unipolar magnets and I don't have unipolar magnets. Uh, unipolar magnets, if I come over here and we look at this particular thing is that there's nothing here. Now we're also not producing this uh, mass energy storage. We're not producing the annihilation. We're not producing these things, but these things are things we're going to need in a production chain. We don't really need here. Um, oh, this requires antimatter. Interesting. We do have antimatter being produced. Not a lot of it, but some of it. So we can do the white science. Um, and then we don't have artificial stars being produced. And artificial stars would require these right here be, to be produced. So a few of those getting a few of those running would be a good thing. Um, we do have article containers coming in. It looks like we don't have a lot of particle containers. It's not full, uh, and so we're let's let's see if we can track down where particle containers is being shipped in from. So there's the items right in there. Graphene being produced here. That's coming in using. Well, that's actually producing carbon. Uh, it should be importing graphene, but we are not importing enough graphene, it doesn't look like. Oh no, we have plenty of graphene coming in, so hold on a second. What's the issue here? What is it waiting on? Oh, it's full. This doesn't have enough graphene. That just may be a belt issue. Let's do a belt upgrade. Let's do the belt. Well, I thought I told it to do a belt upgrade. Oh, lack of item. Well, okay. That would be an issue. There we go. That should get all of those running. Of course, then they're, they're rather full. These are not all of them being used, but that's okay. Just producing these items. These are coming out over here and producing our particle broadbands. We have items coming in here to produce a few of these frame materials. Okay, let's see what else we have going on around here. Uh, why is this one not running? It is because the graphene is awful. Local supply, remote supply, hydrogen. Okay. That information is in there. So we do have the particle containers. And this right here, this is local demand as well. 
remote storage. I'm not pulling in the particle bands there. But I'm trying to find where I'm bringing in particle bands at. The There's the... It is producing... But this is an interesting thing because we are producing a number of components here. We're creating full accumulators. Okay. That is producing accumulators. Right. Back to our what we're looking for particle containers and where they're coming in at might be some of it. Now here's where my science center is and I believe once I finish this particular component in our next episode that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish this up here. Should finish it in this episode I think. Uh, it's going to be very close. If it's not, it'll be finished when we come back in the next episode. And we will then, I, we're going to move the science. We're going to take the science and redo our science. In fact, we're going to take all of our science down. Uh, the, this will be our science planet, but we are going to rebuild all of our science. Um, and so with, with the things that we're, we're producing there, and we're, we're bringing in items, importing them and uh, eventually the only thing left on this planet will be our mall and our science that, that's that's what we will have uh, as we get to it eventually that'll be the plan here uh, so but we're gonna let this finish out and um, before we do that it's not definitely not running efficiently we've got items up here solar ray receivers let's see what my power on this planet looks like plenty of generation not consuming everything so that's uh, and some of that's producing that uh, items now look at there that is all used up there is no more no more item there but we can take that down just have the things going in there we're bringing coal in now to feed this down through here where we're doing our fracking. All of that appears to be running well. We've got diamonds and things coming out over here. Crystals. We have oof, a whole lot of refined oil. Let's uh, let's go ahead on the refined oil. And stack up some more of those so that it continues to run. We are turning that refined oil into sulfur over here, but we're also mining sulfur from another planet, so we can redo a lot of that. Um, all of that is by different components. This is where I'm producing my... Right, let's see, why is this not producing? Hopefully that's just because we've got too many of them. That is what it is. Very good. We've got refined oil here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna max that out. Let that feed in as much as it wants to. That's that is coming from over there. Uh, all right. Very good. We've got that set up. We are almost done with ray transmission here, so we're going to get this in place. We'll do the other one before we go to the other planet and do some more of our components. We'll get all of that going. Now, this is where we're doing our antimatter. Um, we don't have any storage there. That is because the antimatter here is full. We don't have any hydrogen. There it is. Ray transmission. Efficiency level 7. So I've got a shared belt here. This is one of the issues here. That shared share belt comes in here. The antimatter is going in there. And since I have all of the antimatter that I can do anything with, that's what I need to do with some of the antimatter. Now what I could do, this might be interesting. Let's see, I haven't done this. Oops, we've got this. Right quick, we're gonna take a look at 
We don't need that right now. We don't need the mass energy storage. We do need those, but I still haven't found where the particle containers are coming into the planet. And I'll have to find that. I'll find that between episodes so that we know where it's at. And then we'll get started on the next part of this. But we definitely need to build a little bit of this. Um, going back to the buildings, the artificial star. I can build an artificial star if I can build a few of these. So that's what we're going to do next episode is set up for doing the artificial star. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available and check out the link shown here for more gameplay. Take care.